Happy Sunday. My name is Phil Osophical, and this video is about sacred activism and what sacred activism means. Um, I just watched this phenomenal interview with an author named um, Andrew Harvey, interviewed by this woman, Lilu Macy, on the topic of sacred activism. And uh, I'm really just feeling a lot of excitement and passion right now. My heart is racing and I just really feel like making a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple different things in this video. I wrote them down so this video is semi-spontaneous as usual. Um, but this concept of sacred activism I find is really interesting because it's um, it's a way of kind of balancing the personal change that we need to do but also taking action in the world and um, Andrew Harvey this author and I've thought a lot about this also is how there's different types of activism and different people advocate for different things some people kind of recommend like oh you need to just meditate and that's going to change the world and then other people are like no you idiot if you just meditate you're going to be all consumed in yourself and you're not going to actually help anyone and you're probably just going to be a self-righteous yogi who's eating his health foods while people go starving um, <clears throat> so Andrew Harvey is kind of advocating this balance between um, recognizing that we need to change individually and have kind of a spiritual practice but also taking action in the world um, and doing concrete things which is something that I've been working with for the last two years and uh, I made some other videos about this topic but um, I think one one key point to recognize is that um, the the kind of spiritual work practice maybe yoga meditation helps you to accept the way the world is now and accept all these crazy situations with a sense of compassion um, but I think you we need to balance that with a set with we need to balance that compassion with actual passion that yes this is the way it is but we can change it and we need to change it and there are so many people suffering for no reason and we have the ability to do these things in the world and we can make a difference and I think it's crucial that we we balance these polarities and that we recognize when we're getting too stuck in one direction because um, some activists are so set on on changing things that they have that they get burnt out and they they don't have this um, practice that helps them to stay grounded um, and they just get burnt out and that doesn't help anyone but then I, I personally sometimes get stuck where I'm just like so blissed out almost because I am doing yoga or whatever that I'm just like okay this is the way the world is I'm at peace with it and and then I just don't really feel like doing anything sometimes and then it's like I watch these videos and I'm like holy shit there are people dying for no reason and and people are distracted people are stuck on medication there's these horrifying corporations brainwashing us with TV like we need to change this and and that that's true too it's a matter of balancing these things um, so I think balancing acceptance um, and this this applies to like my friends and and people around me I think it's like we can accept that some people are totally unaware of these things but also be working to educate them. I think education is a key thing right now. And um, I encourage you to use the internet to share information and help to educate people through the internet. Um, I am trying to do that through 
my Flowetry and all these other videos. And so if you want to help me with that, I would appreciate, I would love, I'm trying to find blogs to um, share this Flowetry with and this information. If you'd like to help me with that, I would appreciate it. Because um, some people seem to be trying to find ways to take action because they feel like they're not doing enough. And I feel like I know a lot of ways that we can take action. I, I kind of see myself as a librarian of, of all these different possible solutions. So if you want to come ask me a question, I would love to help with that. Because um, somebody posted on Facebook recently, um, I feel like sometimes I'm only consuming and not producing. And I sometimes get stuck in that too. It's like our, our society um, has turned us into just consumers and we're not actually giving anything or producing anything. And I think um, just by sharing information, helping to educate others, that is a way of, of producing and, and giving. And um, I think that's, a, that's another balance to find is giving and receiving and all the different dimensions of that. I would love to hear any any polarities that you're trying to balance in this sacred activism um, because I find it, it's, it's a very exciting challenge um, to, to stay personally balanced but also be making a difference in your community or in whatever other sector of your life that you want to affect change in because um, they both kind of feed into each other like a big uh, figure eight, I think. Um, so yeah, it's, it's as Andrew Harvey says, like we need to totally take off our blinders and, and look at all these horrifying situations and know that they exist um, because that is what really fuels our passion and well, that fuels the passion, but also the excitement and the, the knowledge of what we can create. So it's not that we're just saying no to something, it's that we're saying yes to this other alternative. Um, I highly recommend Yes Magazine, by the way, which is just a magazine about all these positive solutions and news stories. Um, so just to summarize a bit, this is sacred activism, a way of balancing this, uh, this personal healing that we need to do with this, um, this outward activism in the world. And there's just so many different aspects to it. I think it's a really important conversation that we have. Um, and I encourage you to just engage with it and talk to the people around you. I'm really excited to look more into Andrew Harvey's book because I just kind of scratched the surface of it with this first interview. I've, I've read some of his other stuff, but I just feel so excited about this topic right now. I wanted to make this video. Um, but please share any information you want. If you want to help me share the stuff I'm trying to share, please send me a personal message. And life is beautiful. That is the real reason why I'm doing all of this stuff. Oh, and for the little ones, that's Andrew Harvey asked, like, what is your most motivating factor? I feel like it's really for for me. It's because I look at little little young kids and just like the world that they're having to grow up in our insane education system and it's like I know that I can create a better world for these kids um, and I ask you to to ponder the same thing so have a happy Sunday peace my friend <laughs>